Orland, don't forget to take your prep today. Hey guys, it's me, Cody Briscoe. And today we got something very special. We, I'm doing my very first mukbang, I'm very excited. We got some uh, hot Cheeto puffs, which I, I'm a big fan of, so. Uh, let's dig right in, we have a lot to discuss. We're gonna be spilling all the tea, girl. Is this even recording? Cody, edit this out. <sighs> this is a video I never thought I'd have to make. There's something very serious that I need to address and everybody's been asking me to talk about it. And I'm sure you all know what I'm, what I'm referring to already, but it's just, there's just been so much drama and it's, I just feel like I need to take back my power to be able to tell my side of the story. There's just something that I really need to say on I'm so s This menthol better fucking work. I'm telling you that right now, Miss Honey. So, this recently some old screenshots of messages I said in a Discord server were released to the public. It was in the Mr. Enter, uh, the cartoon reviewer, it was in his Discord server. And I'm just so ashamed of myself. Do you remember how you had to wake up early, sometimes even before the sun had come up, to get ready to go to school? A place that you'd come- These messages were old at least two weeks, and they were taken completely out of context. When I used the phrase grooming, I swear I was only referring to his haircut. Now everyone's just attacking me and I don't know what to do with some fucking wish out of the room, I'm just being so fucking mad at me! I can at least admit that it was wrong of me to say that the only thing his GoFundMe kickstarted was him being put on a watch list. Joy comes in the morning! Joy comes in the morning! Jesus comes in the morning! JOY! JOY! There is absolutely no excuse that I can come up with to, to justify my actions, and I'm- I'm very s If you felt that my intentions were not what they were intended to be, because I intended them to be commenting on Mr. Enter's intentions in his story, Growing Your Own Party Panic, which is allegedly intended for a child audience, and oh my god, what the fuck? One thing that you guys don't understand about when I said those messages is that back then I was just in such a dark headspace. <laughs> My excuse isn't an excuse and I'm still very, very s Fuck you! There's no excuse! No excuse! I just feel like Social media and cancel culture is so toxic right now. I, I, I just need to get away so I can focus on myself and take this opportunity moving forward to learn and grow from my mistakes and remain accountable. But it's just, you know, when I think about the things I've done, it just, it makes me so... Oh,